All right, joining us in studio right now is Thomas Byrne, Minister of State with responsibility for sport and physical education in Ireland. First of all, I'm so excited that you're here. Well, thanks very much. Really delighted to be here. I suppose it's an Irish tradition now that government ministers are fan around the world for St. Patrick's Week. Um, famously, our Prime Minister visits the White House with every president since Reagan. Um, so our Prime Minister will do that this week, but every president of both parties has done that. So I'm here in Phoenix and in Los Angeles this week, so it's a great honour to be here. It is. Uh, it's interesting because there is almost an American obsession. Everybody in America is Irish on St. Patrick's Day. But we celebrate it a little bit differently, don't we? Look, it's 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 different, of course, but we're very proud that uh, Irish Americans are very proud of their culture, and it's very important to us because at difficult moments in our country's history, uh, Irish America and America in general has been there for us, and I'm very proud that in terms of peace in Northern Ireland, that's a bipartisan political issue in Washington D.C., and we really appreciate that bipartisanship in Northern Ireland, and that's gone on for for decades now since since Reagan, uh, Bill Clinton, Joe Biden. We really really appreciate all that work. And it's interesting you went you went across with the different is an American perspective in politics that it doesn't matter what party you're with it seems to be like you were saying President Biden very popular because of his Irish heritage in Ireland. Yes and President Reagan had Irish heritage, uh, I think George Bush had Clinton and indeed Barack Obama we found his eighth cousin as well in Ireland no, too. Really? So yeah, so, uh, so we're, as soon as an American president becomes or an American candidate for president becomes somewhere near capable of getting elected they, 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 we look for Irish heritage and inevitably there's some there for everybody almost. But the history of St. Patrick's Day, St. Patrick's Day is a, was a, is a very holy day or at, the, it's, at its inception a very holy day in Ireland. Yeah and St. Patrick uh, is a, a saint St. Patrick came to Ireland to, and converted the country to Christianity um, a millennium and a half ago uh, and I think we do remember that we go to, you know, as Catholics, if, if you're Catholic you go to church on St. Patrick's Day and that's really really important but it does give us our sense of nation uh, as to who we are and in terms of our historical struggles, particularly with religion um, a number, uh, you know, some hundreds of years ago when we weren't allowed to practice our Catholic faith. We uh, Americans always tend to Americanize whatever tradition we're in the middle of. So what are some of the things that Americans do? <laughs> How have we taken some of what are Irish traditions and Americanized them? Well, no, I think you have the parades here. The New York parade is, is one of the oldest in the world. There's one here in Phoenix, which I'll be Grand Marshal of, and I'm really That's honoured amazing. to be. This, it is amazing. This Saturday morning, um, downtown in Phoenix, and I encourage everybody to go there. That's what we do back home as well. There'll be parades in, in Dublin and in every town in Ireland this weekend, and it's a wonderful honour to represent my country here in Phoenix, but we do that everywhere else. So your job in the Irish government, can you describe what you do for the Irish people? So my current job is Minister for Sport and Physical Education, so we... I suppose fund sport to a huge extent not the professional sports but the amateur sports around the country uh, we fund the facilities for sport and we organise and help fund major events uh, in terms of sporting events so one of the ones that we're funding this year is the college football classic so Notre Dame and Navy are coming to Dublin uh, this August to play and there's a there's a college a US college game every year and that brings a huge tourism benefit to Ireland uh, but it also ignites an interest I suppose in, 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 in football in Ireland too uh, but also keeps those really important connections we've really important cultural personal and business links uh, Ireland is actually the fourth largest trading partner of Arizona at the moment and that's a lot to do with Intel we have a huge Intel facility in Ireland just like you have it in Arizona so it's not just about culture it's not just about people they're really really important but our business links are really really important and that was not the case historically but as a country we've educated ourselves we've opened ourselves up to the world and we have I suppose run our country quite well in recent decades and that has led to some economic prosperity yeah and I think that that's I didn't know that, that statistic about being such a big trading partner with Arizona one of the things Arizona has focused on at least in the last 10 years plus is diversification of our economy as well and it's been great in, to a great improvement of the economy here. Yeah, look, we had we had no inward investment really in Ireland up to the 60s and then there was an effort by the government at that time to open up the economy. So there's been huge US investment in Ireland in that time. Intel is a prime example. A lot of my constituents work in Intel. A lot of connections between the Intel plants here, Chandler and in Ireland too. So at one point there were hundreds of Irish people over here temporarily working at Intel. Not quite as many now, but there's still, there's still a number there. Uh, but those connections are really, really important. And it's not just that we're um, economically connecting, but we're at the cutting edge of where the world economy is going. And Ireland is very much at the centre of that. Thomas Byrne is joining us in studio. He's the Minister of State with Responsibilities for Sport and Physical Education in Ireland. 
and he's in town to be the Grand Marshal at the St. Patrick's Day Parade in downtown Phoenix. And it's almost a goodwill ambassador, as many people from Ireland are during this week. Absolutely. So we're here to promote um, Irish business in the US, but also US investment into Ireland, but also to link in with our Irish American communities. And that's really, really important. A lot of those people are have been here for generations in terms of their families, but there are newer people here as well. I think they, they like to gather, they like to play our games, Gaelic football and hurling. There's teams here in Phoenix and, and in LA as well. Uh, and that's really, really important. So it just provides a focus for all of us and reminds us that times weren't always good in Ireland. And you know we had the famine 150 years ago or so, uh, and so many people moved to the US. The US is a welcoming home uh, for Irish people there. And we've never forgotten uh, the role that the US has played in Ireland and continues to play in Ireland. And we act with the US um, on, on many, many issues around the world. You mentioned American football being played in Ireland. First of all, what will it mean in Ireland for Notre Dame playing there? Is that going to be a big deal? And do, do the Irish people embrace American football? They do for those big games. I mean, it, 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 there are some American football teams in Ireland. It's not hugely popular. But for the big games, um, they're, they're very, very important uh, for... I should have said Notre Dame and Navy, of course, was last year. Um, oh, not, was not, last not, year. No, it was okay. last, it was last year, year, not this okay. year. No, I think the jet lag's hitting me. Um, so we have, we have Georgia Tech and, and uh, Florida State coming this year, Ooh. actually. So, so th- th- that's... Notre Dame and Navy was a huge gig, and it wasn't the first time Notre Dame had played. So to have the, the Fighting Irish over in Ireland was a huge event last August for us. So what do you personally, do? You, are you a fan of American football? I, I certainly enjoy the spectacle. But you do. Um, uh, but I suppose part of the issue is for Ireland that the, the, the live games tend to be at times when that aren't prime time viewing in Ireland. So that, that's a difficulty. We have our own sport, which is Gaelic football. And some would say that American football has huge connections to that. That's really, really popular in Ireland. Uh, it's probably our number one sport. Uh, and it's very popular with the Irish communities around the world as well. So culturally, I think one of the things that cultures are known for is food. Uh, the Irish food in America, how do you rate Irish food in America, especially here in Phoenix? Is there, can you get good Irish food here? I saw some uh, last night in, in a certain restaurant that I was in. I saw a, a nice menu there, and I know that the uh, this, this corned beef and cabbage is very popular in the U.S. during St. Patrick's Week. Maybe not so much uh, back home, but I certainly get corned beef and cabbage every so often in, in, uh, back home. My, my so mother cooked is, it as a child, and we still cook it at home. So yeah. what is popular? what is a popular Irish meal in Ireland? You see, I think we have a very interesting relationship with food because, of course, the, the reason for the famine was that there was potato blight. So um, potatoes went. So in, in we've, I suppose, we've tried to diversify our food in, in that respect. And now we actually export a lot more food than we keep ourselves. So we're producing a huge amount of food because our land is extremely fertile. So we have a lot of beef going all around the world, the best of steaks. We have a lot of milk going all around the world. We have expertise in baby formula. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, real serious expertise. And that goes all around the world. Uh, we have alcoholic drinks like Bailey's, for example, are produced using milk of Irish cows. Uh, really uh, important export from Ireland. So our food exports are really, really important. And it's not just in terms of what you might get, get in a supermarket to cook yourself, but those bulk products that go into pizza, that go into other processed foods uh, that we have as well. You know, there are huge, Irish cheese plays a significant role in some countries uh, in terms of what goes into those types of takeaway pizzas, for example. It really is an honor to meet you. I appreciate you making a stop here while you're in Phoenix, and I hope you enjoy your stay in Arizona, and I look forward to you being the Grand Marshal on the parade. Thanks very much, and can I just say that we deeply appreciate the continued ties between Ireland and the USA, Ireland and Arizona, and, as I said, the fact that interest in Northern Ireland in particular and peace there, and we have things stable at the moment there, and I think that will be stable for some time, has been bipartisan, and I really welcome that, and I want to thank American politicians at all levels for that. Amen. I appreciate that so much. Thanks for watching the Mike Broomhead Show. Tap to watch the first season of Amazing Arizonans, a KTAR News podcast. You can also click the button in the middle to subscribe.